Report surfaced on Thursday that NBA team executives are calling on the league to cancel the rest of the current season. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Mike Petralia and Jimmy Toscano. And apparently it's not just team executives, also players. Agents are reaching out to Adam Silver and asking him to cancel the rest of the current season so that they can focus on the next season and starting as close to on time as possible. Do you guys agree with the sentiment? I love the sentiment for many, many reasons. First of which uh, is that the, play the players' agents want these players prepared for next season, and the uh, agents don't want to see their clients be forced into a compressed regular season next year. Uh, and I think, you know, if you give the uh, uh, owners and the players' uh, association the the time to organize in the off season over the summer they can better plan out maybe a staggered start to the season maybe delay the end of the season in the 2021 NBA finals a little bit but you get all 81 or 82 games in in a situation where they're not compressed and i think certainly when you're talking about uh you know, sticking up for the players' rights, you don't want these players playing 82 games in four months. I think that is one situation they want to avoid. The other situation, uh, the agents and these owners have just watched what the NFL did uh, with regard to their NFL draft. And while the NBA draft isn't the uh, NFL draft, I, I grant you that, still there's a lot of popularity uh, uh, in basketball circles around that late June event for the NBA. And I think this would give the NBA a little bit more time to prepare for that type of event, hold it virtually like the NFL show. They did over three days. Well, the NBA situation is just one night, and maybe you can build up a little bit more anticipation for a certain event like the NBA draft than just hoping to play these games in empty arenas. Yeah, I, I agree with some of the points Trags made. Uh, it's, it's so difficult. I mean, you do have to project ahead, but at the same time, this is when the NBA is at its most popular point right now. You know, heading in, right into the playoffs, you get your great matchups, you know, usually get an upset in there somewhere. Um, and it just sucks that, you know, we're talking about this right now. But I kind of agree with Trags in the sense where you almost have to start really considering next season because – the last thing you want is to be playing catch-up, 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 and you feel like you're playing from behind all next season, too. I honestly think that, you know, if this, if this you know, coronavirus, you know, keeps lingering throughout the summer and if what they say is, is true about, um, you know, a second wave, you may even have to consider delaying the start of, of 2021 or holding it in a different way than you normally would. Maybe you don't have an opening night with the, with the place packed. Maybe you do have designated arenas where certain games are played for the first month while they, you know, see how things go and th see how things progress. But you have to plan that in advance. So you can't put these players out immediately. If you can say, hey, guys, just so you know, we're going to be starting the first six weeks of the season all in, you know, some arena in Texas or all wherever it may be. You know, you got to start thinking that way because the worst thing that can happen is a repeat of this season. If you do have to cancel this season, you don't want to have to cancel next season or postpone next season way longer well lebron james took to twitter and because he heard about these reports just like we do and he said uh actually none of the players want this season to be canceled and no one around my team the los angeles lakers as far as team executives or agents go have reached out to adam silver and expressed their desire to have this current season canceled so why do the players want to continue is it just for the love of the game well, trust me, everybody wants to continue. I want them to continue. The, you, know, you don't think that the front office and you don't think ownership and everybody wants them to continue? Of course they do. I'm, but also with LeBron James is once it's considered safe to play, we want to play. Well, no kidding, buddy. When is it going to be considered safe to play? Right. Who's deciding <laughs> that every state has to be on board essentially, right? I mean, if you want to have an even playing field, some states are going to be back um, more to normal than other states. Well, obviously, New York City is nowhere close. Same with Massachusetts right now. But, uh, you know, a team, you know, out in the Midwest might be closer. So it, it's, it's a lot more complicated than, yeah, we want to play. Of course you want to play, but it has to be done the right way. And LeBron James is going to be the first player to complain next year when the 2021 season starts three weeks after the first one ended. And he's going to say we had no time to rest between seasons and the games are too compacted so there's a no-win situation here and i think the reason why a decision hasn't been made is because 
they're still trying to figure out what the right decision is. Well, my, here's my issue with what LeBron is saying. It's about him and the players, not about the what's in the best interest of the association overall going forward. And that's what these owners have to keep in mind. There are precious few teams and franchises in the NBA that are at the level of the Celtics, Lakers, um, you name it, uh, any of, uh, of the other high-profile teams sure. that are doing very, very well. There's probably about names five to seven franchises that are doing exceedingly well. The rest of them are trying to make ends meet. They do need those revenues uh, at the gate. It's not like hockey. Obviously, it's not nearly as gate dependent as the NHL is, but it's still for half the teams in the NBA, they do rely on the gate. And I think a lot of these owners are right to fight and set and stand up for themselves and say, look, until we can get back to a much more of a sense of normalcy, we don't want to touch any of these, well, let's hope that the virus is contained to the point where we can start playing. They want something a little bit more firm. And I think pointing towards the fall of 2020 and into the 2021 season um, is a better route to go. Well, we know that Adam Silver usually moves quickly. He was the first commissioner to shut down the NBA. All the other leagues kind of followed suit. So we'll see if he starts a trend here and decides to pull the plug on the current 2020 regular season. We'll keep you updated with that and all the rest of our Celtics coverage on our website at clnsmedia.com and on our YouTube channel at Celtics All Access and CLNS Media.